Last year, Meghan Markle graced the cover of Cut magazine. And my family, it was fantastic to see Meghan Markle so, so happy. We learned of Meghan's happy moments and also Meghan's sad moments. We heard of Meghan's happiness when she went to Archie's school to pick up her son. Our, our son, Archie, we just know that mommy is waiting for me, has come to get me from school. And Archie would run to Megan and give her a huge, huge embrace. A son who loves her mom, Megan. Archie loves Megan. We also had of Megan's sad moments of how the media were demanding photos of her son, her son Archie, whom they call whom they would call the N-word. Yes, that is what the media would call Archie. As you all know, the tabloids were very much racially abusive towards Megan and even Hassan Archie. And they could do that to this day. Now, my family, something happened today. The cut Twitter account posted a tweet with an article titled Is Meghan Markle getting back into blogging? That was the theme. That was the question. And they said huge, absolutely thrilling news. After six long years, famed blogger Meghan Markle may finally be resurrecting had defunct lifestyle site the TIG. That's what they said. But is this true? Is this true? That is what we'll answer. We will answer in this video. Now here's what they are saying. After six long years, famed blogger Meghan Markle may finally be Resurrecting her defunct lifestyle site, The Tig. Megan pulled the plug on her passion project in 2017, shortly before becoming engaged to Prince Harry. But now, now she may be bringing back her beloved Tig. And here's the part that tells you that they are lying about this, my family. Look, of course, I would love so much for Mega to bring back the take. As a matter of fact, you know, the media, while trying to write about this, or talk about this, this possibility of Megan bringing back the take. They have been hugely castigating, attacking of Meghan Markle. Because they don't want Meghan to keep flying higher and higher. To keep thriving. To keep succeeding. Because they know anything that Meghan touches turns to gold. My family. And they're afraid if Meghan does indeed restart her lifestyle blog the tig it will be a huge success and of course tablets don't want that and no wonder they have begun trashing and bashing Meghan Markle over that possibility that she may restart her blog the tig my family and the thing is the media does not know what Meghan might or might not do because they have no access to her. I mean, look at this. It is a shame that the cut magazine in the website, my family, they're quoting what comes from a tablet. I mean, hear this, please. According to the Mirror and the New York Post, my family, the New York Post is owned by Rupert Murdoch. I mean, 
Piers Morgan writes for the New York Post. Why would Megan ever, ever give a tabloid like the Mirror back in the UK? Or the New York Post owned by Rupert Murdoch? A scoop on what she intends to do. Why would Megan give them a scoop? People who abuse her. People who mock her. Why? And that's why I say this tabloids and outlets owned by Rupert Murdoch are making up stuff when it comes to Meghan Markle. From the moment you see someone say, according to the mirror, and the New York Post, I mean, that's a sign already that they are lying to you, that they are deceiving you. You know? Because I saw this story and I was like, from the moment I saw them say, according to the mirror and the New York Post, I know that Megan and Harry would never ever speak to a tablet or a media outlet owned by Rupert Murdoch that abuses them or gives them scoops about what they intend to do with their life or their projects. They will never ever give them the scoop. My family, never. And whatever Harry and Meghan want to say, they say it through their spokesperson. That's what Harry and Meghan do. So, how did they come with this story, this analogy, this illusion that Megan may be restarting her blog, The Tig? My family, how did they come up with this? My family, here's how. Megan Markle has filed with the US trademark and parted office to launch a revamped version of the site covering food, cooking, recipes, travel, re relationships, fashion, style, interior design, lifestyle, the arts, culture, design, conscious living, health, and wellness as soon as next week. Megan has filed a US trademark on that. That's how they're coming up with this story. My family, you know what? Every year, Megan has been filing a trademark to protect her intellectual property. That's what any person in business, anyone does. It's basic common sense to prevent it from being abused by the tabloids, by the press, by anyone else with ill will. That is what you do. Basic common sense tells you that. And my family, Megan is doing this because any person does it to protect their brand, to prevent it from being abused, which is what the media, tabloids, want to do, to exploit Meghan Markle and Prince Harry to make money off of Harry and Meghan. But they don't want Harry and Meghan to make a penny from their life, from telling their story, from even restarting, you know, Meghan's lifestyle blog, The Take. You know, when Meghan left the UK, when she fled the UK with her husband and kids, aunts and Archie, my family, any single person would hope that now that she's left the UK, that Megan would restart her Instagram from where she left. When Megan was dating Harry, before she deleted her Instagram account, Megan had up to 3 million followers before she got married. She had 3 million followers on Instagram before she even got married. That at the time was even much more than William and Kay Moulton. At the time, my family, 
And Megan was famous, popular. Even before meeting Prince Harry. And my family, when she did meet Prince Harry, yes, her popularity, her fame skyrocketed. But Megan already had established herself. And I love that the Harry and Megan documentary on Netflix showed that of how Megan was giving an address at the United Nations long before her husband ever did. You know? And my family, the media is trashing Megan over this move to file a US trademark and patent to protect you know you know her intellectual property the tig my family the media is unhappy about that and why is that it's simple because they don't want megan to succeed they don't want megan to thrive they don't want that and they incite hate the abuse to try and dissuade Megan from restarting her blog, The Tig. That's what they're doing. That is why they're doing what they're doing by going after Megan Markle over this common sense move. I mean, it's like Megan filed a patent with the US trademark and patent office. Yeah, everyone does that. Everyone who has a brand to protect, they do that. Everyone does that. So this is not unusual. <laughs> you know? It's like how the media were upset because Megan closed her own cardo. Like, how dare she close her own cardo? Now they are upset because Megan is protecting her intellectual property. They're like, how dare you protect your intellectual property, Megan? How dare you file with the U.S. trademark and patent office, you know, to launch a revamped version of the TIG. How could you? How dare you, Megan? That's how the media tablets are like to try and dissuade you from continuing your life. The fact is, Megan Markle does not earn a penny of taxpayer money. The fact is, Meghan Markle will never ever speak or engage with people abusing her. Meghan, whose husband Harry described Rupert Murdoch as evil, would never ever give scoops to the New York Post or the Mirror. Never, ever, 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 ever. A UK tabloid. Never. <laughs> never. My family, never. And whatever it is that Harry and Meghan have to say, they always say it themselves through their spokesperson. My family, and not through the tabloids. And also, it is very clear that the tabloids are stalking every move being done by Harry and Meghan. Every project being done by Harry and Meghan, they want to know. Whenever Meghan, you know, refiles with the US trademark and patent office, you know, to protect her, block the take that intellectual property over, you know, the take. Always the media reports it as Megan is relaunching her blog, The Tig. And my family, it happens every year. And it has been happening for up to six long years right now. Because every year, Megan does the same thing. Megan does the same thing every single year. And every year, they say, Megan is getting back into blogging. Megan is relaunching her lifestyle blog, The Tig. Listen, I also hope that Megan does that. I hope she does that. From the bottom of my heart, I hope that that is what Megan does. 
I want to see Megan back with the tick. I want to see Megan continuing her life, doing her own thing, succeeding and thriving. I want that from the bottom of my heart. And I hope that that is what Megan does. Because I want her to make a ton of money. A lot of money. Billions even. From a blog. I hope she even has her own fashion. Her own fashion. Partners up with a fashion brand. To create clothing. That makes a lot of money in the US. I hope she does that because everything that Megan wears... Or even holes, even a pass. It sells out. So I hope that Megan does that. My family. But one thing is clear. The tabloids don't know what Megan is doing. They don't know what Megan will do. Whether or not she will bring back the tick this year or next year. They don't know that. Especially if a story is coming from the New York Post or the Mirror. My family, just from the moment you hear that, just know they're lying. And they're stalking Meghan Markle, whom they call irrelevant. Whom they told to go back to America. Whom they were xenophobic to. They're stalking even when Meghan files a patent so they can write a story. Oh look, Meghan might be resurrecting her defunct lifestyle site, The Tig. I mean, those are the words even used by The Cut magazine. This article. Because I think that after six long years, fame blogger Meghan Markle may finally be resurrecting her defunct lifestyle site, The Tig. The words, may, 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 may. They don't know what Megan will do. What Megan did is simply what any single person with a brand, with a business does to protect the brand. They go to the US trademark and patents office to protect their brand, to protect their intellectual property. That's what anyone does. And what Megan is doing is something which any person does. And once again, the media is making it out to be something so, so big, 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 big. Because my family, let's face it, indeed, Megan is big. A big, big international personality. When the tabloids call, call irrelevant, it can't go a day without mentioning the names of Harry and even Megan. My family, here is what they are also saying kindly. A natural next question for you to ask at this juncture would be, what is a TIG? Debuted in 2014, Markle's TIG took its name from Tignanello, the wine that finally allowed her to get wine and thus became her shorthand for the feeling of suddenly understanding something big. Thus her site was devoted to those tick moments of discovery. If that makes sense to you. And also topics like her dog, cooking, fashion, avocado toast, books, and a badass reading list. And also personal revelations, self-love, the list goes on. And here is a 2015 entry on Valentine's Day. To give you a feel for the genre. And I quote. This Valentine's Day. I will be with friends. Running amok. To the streets of London. Likely. Imbibing some cocktail. That's only pink. And jumping over icy moans. In my new shoes. Through the salted. Snowy streets. Of the West Village. But those shoes by the way were my gift to myself. Because I've worked hard. Because I'm not going to wait for someone to buy me the things I covet. 
nor do I want to. And because I want to treat myself as well as I treat those dearest to me. Because I am my own funny Valentine. Megan said back in 2015. Because I have worked hard. Wow, I love Megan Marco. I love her. I love her. And it's exactly what I've been saying. One thing that helps Megan Markle, one thing that makes this smear campaign a failure is because of Megan's past. It's because of Megan's work ethic. It's because of the people who have worked with Megan before she met Prince Harry. The Patrick J. Adams, my family, because of them. When the farm were lying about Meghan Markle being a bully, Patrick J. Adams said he had worked with Meghan for a decade. The better part of a decade. And Meghan is a kind woman, an amazing woman. My family, everybody says that. Everyone who has worked with Meghan Markle. One cast at Suits, even said that it seems to me like someone is setting up Meghan Markle. And as you all know, Harry and Meghan have been the scapegoats for the farm. Everyone could see it, my family. Meghan worked hard. Meghan did not want others to buy something for her. No. That's not what she wants. Meghan wanted to treat herself, my family. I love that. I love that, my family. And then what's interesting is that these people, <laughs> they bury the truth in the article on the last page. <laughs> That's how they behave really, my family. When they know they're lying. Now hear the truth. And I quote, Before you get excited about TIG 2.0, before you get happy and excited about TIG 2.0, I will simply caution you that its author has renewed her trademark on the site in the past. <laughs> exactly. Every year, Megan has done that. Every year. So this is nothing new. It is what anyone does to protect the brand. However, in the UK, Megan is being trashed for this. My family. Already, they are saying that Megan cares about herself. You know, she wants attention. My family, this is what Megan did before she even met Prince Harry. Before she met Harry, she did this. She had her own blog that made her reportedly up to $80,000. Megan, as you've heard, you know, from the TIG back in 2015, said this. I love this part. Because I've worked hard. Because I'm not going to wait for someone to buy me the things that I covet. Nor do I want to. And because I want to treat myself as well. As I treat those dearest to me. My family, I love, I love this. I love this. Self-love. It's important to love yourself. As just you love others. My family, I love it. That was Megan. That is what makes this mere campaign a failure. My family, because of Megan's past. My family, no wonder this mere campaign does not stick. Even Harry said it's because Megan had her own life. When the media tried to shape, you know, the narrative around her to fit her into a certain mold, people who knew Megan came out and said, no. This isn't Megan that we know. No, you're lying. When the farm tried to lie about Megan Markle, saying that Megan was a bully, the cast at Suits, all of them who worked with Megan for the better part of a decade, said it's a lie. It's a lie. It's a lie. Because of Megan's amazing, amazing past. You know? My family, Megan Markle, don't let the media, tabloids, carnival of so-called expert trolls dissuade you from doing what you want to do. Megan, you're a free woman. 
Megan, you're a mom, you're a wife. Do what you want to do. Let no one dissuade you from doing anything. Don't let the attacks ever slow you down from doing or achieving that which you want to achieve. Go get it, Megan. We the squad, our global community, are right there to support you. We are behind you, Megan, and we love you 100%. My family. So my family, they bury the truth in the last line of the article. My family. That's how these media outlets behave. My family. Once again, let me read you the truth. Before you get too happy about TIG 2.0, I will simply caution you that its author has renewed her trademark on site in the past, in 2019, for example, but not to revive it. But to prevent frauds from posting under her byline, exactly, to prevent frauds from posting under her byline. And you know the media tabloids would happily be the frauds who want to post on a Megan's byline. You know that for sure. My family, I'm happy that Megan is protecting herself. And I'm proud of Megan Markle. And we love you, Megan Markle, 100%. We love you so so much and we support you so so much my family so my family megan has been renewing her trademark every year over the past couple of years my family that's what megan has been doing and even next year if megan does not relaunch her blog the take this year You'll have the tablet, the media, saying that Megan will be relaunching her blog, The Take, this year. Because they've been saying it every single year, for years now. For years now, my family. For years. They have no access to Megan. They have no idea what Megan will do or won't do. My family, and I'm happy about that. So my family, yes. I would love to see Megan relaunch her blog, The Take. I'd love to see it. I'd love to support Megan Markle. She does it. And I hope that Megan will not be dissuaded by the attacks or the smears. And if she wants to relaunch her blog, Megan, continue with your life. Continue with your life. Thrive. Be happy. Be successful. Make millions and millions. Success. You being successful. You being successful is what they fear so, so much. You and Harry continuing to thrive is what they fear so, so much. So go ahead, Megan, and do just that. Keep thriving. Keep being happy. And keep being successful. We are behind you. 100% and we support you Megan we support you 100% and we love you so so much my family someone said this my family in response to this cut magazine article you are trying to get clickbait from Megan stop it someone said that my family Whatever Megan chooses to do with her life, that is her business, my family. And as much as I would love to see Megan Markle, my family, this story is just a story the media publishes every single year when Megan renews, refiles her trademark to protect, you know, her intellectual property from frauds my family with that and so much more what do you think about you know this story my family i like to hear opinion on that please 
with that and so much more stay tuned on our next video don't forget to like subscribe and support our ever growing family on youtube may god continue your life be happy and thrive and make so much money <laughs> your success is what you know pieces of the Yuki media so so much they can't stand seeing you move on with your life they're like so obsessed with you megan keep thriving and keep flying higher and higher and higher we support you 100 percent. the world supports you and we love you so so much the media should focus on the roles they have in the uk the williams charles Gates, and camillas and leave megan markle alone my family the tabloids New York Post has no access to Meghan Markle and they never ever will have access to Meghan Markle. What they're doing is speculating. That's what they're doing because they have no access. Whatever Harry and Meghan want to say, they say it by themselves or through their spokesperson. Stay tuned to our next video. Love you always and forever. And God bless Meghan Markle. And I hope, Meghan, that indeed the take comes back. But the media does not know Megan's plans. Don't let them ever make you think that they do. Stay tuned to our next video. Love you always and forever. Hello, members of Zisco Family TV. First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices, supporting Prince Harry and Meghan, showing them love. Love will always triumph over evil, and for that I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much, family, from the bottom of my heart, and I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day, and I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Leave a comment below, like, and subscribe. Love you, family, always and forever. Sayonara.